All right, we're going to look at uh, some tr surprisingly tricky questions today. Um, how to convert from inches into yards, feet, and inches. So this is converting imperial measure to imperial. So this is our uh, bit from the formula sheet that we get. And this is the information that we can use. So there's multiple ways to do this. One common way is to include another conversion by saying that one yard is the same as 36 inches and then starting off by dividing by 36. But we're not given that. If you want to go that route, that's fine. I'm going to try and just use the information that's given. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take 100 inches and I'm going to try and figure out how many feet are in there. And according to this, every time we have 12 inches we have one foot. So I'm just going to see how many groups of 12 I can make. How many full groups of 12 can I make? So 100 divided by 12 is going to be 8.3 repeating. So I can, what this tells us is I can make 8 full feet out of 100 inches and then I've got a third, 0 0.3 repeating, of another one. So from there you might say, well I know that 0 0.3 repeating of 12 or a third of 12 is 4, so I already know what number goes here. That's one way to do it. Or you could say, well, if I had 8 full feet, how many inches would that be? So you'd almost go backwards and say, well, 8 times 12 is what? So 8 twelves are 96. So that 8 full feet accounts for 96 inches. Well, I started with 100, so that means there's 4 left over. I often, when I do these questions, I have a little fill in the blank. So if the 8 feet is 96 inches, it means that this point 0.3 repeating, there's your 4 inches. You know that's going to be like your remainder, I guess, your, your inches that are left over. So now I've got to deal with this 8 feet. Well, I now have to check, if I have 8 feet, can I make any yards out of that? Every time I have 3 feet, I can make 1 yard. So I'm going to see how many groups of 3 I can make with 8. And what you're going to get is 2.6 repeating. So once again, you can make 2 full yards, and then you have a third, sorry, 2 thirds of a yard left over. So what's 2 thirds of 3? That's your 2 feet. Or you can say, if I have 2 yards, how many feet is that? So 2 yards, and you're going to multiply it by 3, that will tell you that that's 6 feet. Well, we started with 8 feet. So that remainder there is 2 feet. So we have 2 yards, 2 feet, 4 inches. And you can check that. 2 times 12 is 24, so that accounts for 24 inches. There are 36 inches in 1 yard. 2 times 36 is 72 plus 4, you add those up and you're back to your 100. Alright, let's try one. So pause your screen and give that a go. Alright, so 463 inches. Every time I have 12 inches, I have 1 foot. How many groups of 12 can I make? I can make 38 and then a fraction of another. 38 full feet and then this odd fraction of another. It's an odd looking fraction, it's an odd looking decimal because it's, we're dividing by 12. So 38 feet is how many inches? Once again, you could take this decimal number, what's 0 0.583 repeating times 12, that'll give you your amount. Or you can say, well, 38 feet is the same as 456 inches. Because every time I have one foot, I have 12 inches. What's the amount that we're missing here? Because all I did was take the 38. I didn't take the 0.583 repeating. I'm missing 7 inches to go from 456 up to 463. So the 7 inches is what goes here. Now, let's find out if I can use that 38 feet to make any yards. Well, yes, I can. Because there are 3 feet... Sorry, yeah, three feet and one yard. So I'm using this. So I have, if I'm going to go from feet to yards, I've got to divide by three. And that's going to give me 12 and two-thirds, 12.6 repeating. So once again, what's 
two thirds of three, well there's two. So you know that you have two feet left over. Or you can say, well if I have 12 yards, that's the same as saying 36 feet. Well, if I started with 38 feet when I tried to switch it to yards, and I ended up with 36 feet for the 12, so the leftover part must be the 0.6 repeating. So the two feet is what we're missing, and then we've got the 12 full yards. Check it again if you want. We know that we can add the one yard is the same as 36 inches by using this one and this one combined. So 12 times 36 would be 432 inches. Two times 12 is 24 inches. And then plus seven, if we add those up, do we get our 463 inches that we started with? Add them up and yes, you do. So this works out. So this here is your answer.